After heavy rains lash Pernambuco in Brazil last week, at least 91 people have died in the resultant floods and landslides, and many more have been reported missing. Authorities have said that the death toll from the floods in northeastern Brazil could rise to more than 100. The heavy rains triggered landslides that wiped away housing in the poor neighborhoods or favelas built on the hillsides. These regions are prone to such natural disasters. On Monday, the Brazil, Brazilian president, Jair Bolsonaro, flew over the affected area of Pernambuco's capital and the neighboring areas. However, speaking to the reporters after the aerial survey, he said that landing in the helicopter was not possible due to the soaked soil. Tivemos problemas semelhantes em Petrópolis, sul da Bahia, mais ao norte de Minas. Estive ano passado no Acre também. Infelizmente, essas catástrofes acontecem. Um país continental tem seus problemas. The force of the landslides devastated houses outside the capital area as well. The rescue workers have found more than 20 bodies buried in the mud and say that they expect to find more. Para mim foi a família. Eu fiquei muito constrangida com isso, né? Que 40 anos que eu moro aqui, nunca vi uma tragédia dessa, né? Eu sei para mim com o pessoal que eu vi de, de pequeno, né? This disaster is the fourth major flooding event in the country in five months. It points to a lack of urban planning in the low-income neighborhoods throughout much of Brazil. In these regions, shanty towns are often built on hillsides that are prone to collapse. Researchers and public servants in Brazil have said that rapid urbanization, poor planning and lack of financing for subsidized housing are to be blamed. Just last month, 14 people were killed in Rio de Janeiro because of floods and mudslides and landslides. Now, scientists are wondering whether abnormal rain cycles in Latin America's largest country could be a result of climate change. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.